Hey guys, how's it going? So, I didn't really know what I wanted to film this week, so I think I'm just gonna vlog, TBH. I look horrible, so I'm very sorry, but I'm doing just some like, housey things today, and I just wanna look like crap. I'll probably shower when I'm done, but currently, I'm finishing painting my desk. So if you saw my first video, you know that I was painting my desk. I think I cut out all the parts where I was talking about like how it works and where I got it and such. But yeah, this is my desk. All of the drawers are out of it. They're over here. So my uncle actually got it for me at the Goodwill bins for $27, which is a total steal because desks are ridiculously expensive. Like I honestly, I don't, I don't understand why. But yes, yeah, so we got this desk at the bins for $27 and it was like this ugly dark kind of color, looked a little beaten up. So I'm painting it and it's this kind of, I don't know if the light will really show, but it's just basically like a, a taupey brown and it's actually chalk paint. So this chalk paint and I kind of have to paint it kind of weird. I'm not going to go into like super detail about it, but if you are wanting to like remodel something and you wanna paint it and kinda of like revamp it and you don't wanna spend the time to sand it down to get the paint to stick, uh, feel free to use this chalk paint. It's kind of a pain because you do have to do kinda of like these weird strokes and so I don't know that part, but you don't have to um, sand it down, which is really nice, but you do have to put a wax over the top when you're done doing all the coats, so there is that. But yeah, I'm just gonna be out here for a little bit and paint and then I'll see what kind of other shenanigans I can get into that may be interesting. So I finally finished the desk and I'm so happy. It probably needs a couple touch-ups but I'm gonna wait until it's totally dry. But yay, it's done. Thank God. Um, it had like these little grooves everywhere and that was kind of a nightmare to paint. So I'm really happy that's done. And now I have to move on to spray painting. I have to go get the other chair and start spray painting the chairs and table. So once that's done, I'm gonna shower and I'm gonna like scrub my body because I feel really gross and sweaty. So I did another coat on what was already out there. Holy crap, it's hot. I can't, I have to go inside. I'm sweating, I need water. I wanna shower and make some lunch. I'm over it. So I showered and I feel literally a million times better. And I kind of pampered myself a little bit. Not fully, but just like, like half of my pamper routine when I was in the shower. I didn't want to do a scrub because I was lazy. Ooh, sorry for my squeaky bed. Anyways, so every month I get the Target Beauty box, the like $5 box. My mom buys it for me and my sister. Sometimes it has good stuff, sometimes I don't use it, like if it's the little tiny sample size stuff. Like half the time I don't end up using it, which kind of sucks. Um, but they usually have like one big full size item that they put in there. And this month, they had a razor. And I was kind of like, you know, like whatever, random, but I'll try it. And I had seen ads for it, didn't really think anything of it. And I used it today and holy cow, like literally so much shorter for me to shave. And I'll kind of explain why. This is not sponsored. I clearly don't have enough subscribers to be sponsored. I have 10, so. Hi to the 10 of you who watch these videos. It was this Chic Intuition Fab Razor. I saved the packaging. I don't, the razor's in the shower and like why would you want to see that after I use that? That's kind of gross. But basically, you can shave forwards and backwards safely is what it says. Safely shave forward and back without lifting the razor from your skin. Top blade shave up, bottom blade shave down. And I was really honestly like, super skeptical of this because it doesn't sound the safest like I was really worried it was gonna get caught no it was so easy I was just going up and down up and down literally like I felt like I got a closer shave I felt like 
I didn't miss any places like I usually do. I have really sensitive skin and it'll get cut a lot when I shave. And I think I had one cut and it was just because I was dumb and it was in my knee pit. If you're kind of the person who a hates shaving but loves having the shaved leg feeling because that's totally me like if i could have no hair and not shave i would be so happy but like i have to shave like it's just like a weird thing that i have and i totally respect people who don't like do you it's your body your skin your hair but i well clearly i have a lot of hair on my head and you know it grows everywhere else so <laughs> um if you're looking for a new razor I don't know how expensive it is, but this one worked fab. So yeah, that was cool. I put on this jumpsuit that made me look really pregnant, but <laughs> I'm not, so that's cool. Oh, this little piece of hair wanted to come say hi. But anyways, now I have done my hair a little bit and put some product in it and got dressed. So I need to find some food because I'm actually starving. Oh. Well, as I was uh, putting you on the shelf, I accidentally pressed the off button. So, now we're in my kitchen. Welcome to my kitchen. I don't think I've really filmed in here yet. I actually need to go put my flax seed away that I put in my smoothie. Anyways, I'm so freaking hungry. I didn't realize how hungry I was until I got in the shower and I couldn't eat food because I was in the shower. Oh my God, what is my hair doing? Ugh, anyways, let's see what we have to eat. I'm really freaking hungry. That's disgusting. Literally so gross. Ew. Oh, it smells bad. What the heck in the world, you guys? I'm so hungry and we don't have anything. I don't want to eat another damn bagel. Oh, this is so obnoxious. Why don't we have any food? This is why I can't wait to move into my own apartment because then I'm going food shopping. So we're gonna have food that I like always. And I know what we have because me and my roommate are gonna be the only ones eating it. I love my family to death. I love them. I'm so thankful that they buy me food and I live here in the summer. Ugh. But oh my God, they cannot keep a freaking fridge clean to save their lives. Just look at this. This is what our freezer looks like. What the heck? Like how, how are you still supposed to find anything? And like half of this stuff, I'm pretty sure this is from Christmas. I'm pretty sure this is like um, some alcoholic drink thing. Like, I forget what it's called, but. And then look, like, cheese, an entire drawer of different kinds of cheese, more cheese, cheese, salami, oh that's good, I didn't know that. Like, why? Meat, meat, ice cream, that's, oh, no, probably bad, probably bad. Here's the pizza I'm gonna eat. Shout out to Safeway. But like, this is at least a year old. I think, that, I don't even know what this is. This is dog, sh like, treat things. More meat. Like, how much meat do we need? I'm probably gonna have to put a warning on that for like, vegans or vegetarians. I eat meat and I still think it's, that, that freezer is disgusting, like, why we don't need that much meat there's four of us and half the time there's three of us because i'm at school morning guys so it's the next day I didn't 
film anything else yesterday. After I ate lunch, I felt really sick and I felt sick the rest of the day. We figured out it's more than likely. I take an anxiety and depression medication. It's in one pill. And before we went on vacation last week, I ran out like I had it through Thursday of the vacation and we came back Saturday. So I was like, oh, we'll just pick it up Saturday. We forgot to pick it up on Saturday. We forgot to pick it up on Sunday. We picked it up on Monday and I forgot to take it Monday night. And so it had been four days since I had taken it and I started having withdrawal symptoms. I felt really dizzy, really shaky, really just down. But I'm feeling a lot better today. I took it last night and we're doing some more painting. And we had some people come over for breakfast, which was fun. The people that we stayed with when we went on vacation, they came down to Portland. So that was really fun. We got to see them. We ate waffle tacos. We're delicious. I'm very full. I don't have to work today. So I'm not really sure what kind of shenanigans I'm going to get into. But other than painting, it might not be much. But I'll show you what uh, how the painting's going. So these are the chairs that we're spray painting. Oh, I got to get up. So... This one's pretty much done. And then we have this one. I kind of like this one. This one might be my favorite. It's kind of short, but it's kind of funky. And I like the wide seat. We've got this guy. And this one. And then this is the table legs. And we just decided that we're going to paint the tabletop the same color as the desk, which is being waxed. And I'm really happy with it.
Lakers game and I'm so incredibly happy that they won like honestly so relieving we really needed that win so I hope you enjoyed the footage from there and I think I'm gonna end this video here I'm sorry that I only had a vlog this week I wanted to do something else but um, I've just been trying to get stuff ready for going back to school which is really soon um, and I have a video planned for next week it's gonna be a haul video so look forward to that it's like a bunch of back to school clothes and I'm thinking I might go back to school like supply shopping too so if you want to see that um, I might put that in there as well but thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you had a fun time watching it and if you did please give this video a thumbs up and uh, hit the subscribe button below for more content thanks and I'll see you next time hey guys so um, I did a little bit of Target shopping and I did a poll and uh, everyone wanted to see my little mini Target haul. This is mostly school supplies. So I'll start with what I'm most excited about, which is this super cute um, dry erase board. It has cute little magnets. It has a pen with little polka dots on it. And yeah, we're going to put it in our living room and write cute notes to each other, me and my roommate. So I'm excited about that. I got these fancy uh, clear view highlighter sharpies so you can like see what you're highlighting while you're highlighting it. I don't know. They look really cool and I'm going to start bullet journaling and I heard that you need highlighters so I got that. So another thing that I'm really excited about is these uh, Pilot G2 pens. These are like my favorite pens ever. My roommate from last year got me super addicted to them and I'm doing bullet journaling soon hopefully. Maybe I'll do a video about that once I kind of figure out how I want to do it. If you guys are interested, uh, let me know in the comment section below. I got this uh, stapler because it's like my favorite color ever. This like blue color is my favorite color and I felt like I always needed staples last year and I never had them. So this comes with staples and a staple remover. So this one I'm super excited about because I actually saw online before I went to the store and then when I got there it was on clearance. So it's just one of these uh, little planner dealios. Um, I like to write down which homework I'm going to do each day on it. I had another one but this one was so cute and it was on clearance so I got it. I got some magnetic medium point little magnetic dry erase markers so that they'll stick to the board which is so helpful. My last bit of stationery is post-it notes that are star and heart shape because I like that stuff. So moving on from like stationary supplies, I got the uh, Tahitian Gardenia flower and mango butter curled. I got my favorite primer, which is the Revlon Photo Ready Perfecting Primer, and it was on a uh, cartwheel. So if you're interested in a new primer, this one is like my absolute favorite. I got one of the big, um, I think this brand, oh yeah, OGX, I think it's like Organics, um, but they have a bunch of different kinds and I got the Coconut Curls one and I got the big one because it was like basically the same price as this one that's like this big. So I got that because I'm almost out of conditioner. I got some Altoids because I have a weird thing with mints where I always have to have them on me. And I used to only like the spearmint ones, but I got the wintergreen ones recently and I really like them. So I got another pack. So the second to last thing I got was jeans. Um, these are mom jeans. I hope they fit me. They fit the neck test, so that's exciting. Um, but I've been looking for mom jeans. I wanted light wash ones, uh, but they didn't have any. But these are the new uh, brand at Target, Wild Fable. Everything they have is so cute. When I get more money, I'm going to buy everything. When they restock their plus size online, <sighs> so cute. I'm going to buy everything. But yes, these cute. I don't know if I can show you the bottom. They already have little pre-cuffs. So I'm really excited about those. And I hope that they fit because I did not try them on in the store. And the last thing I got was two of the Mark Anthony Strictly Curls uh, Curl Envy Curl Cream, which I also talked about in my last, last video. So they have it at Target now, which was really exciting because it's the cheapest compared to any other place that I've seen. It was cheaper than Ulta. Um, Ulta is cheaper than Rite Aid, but I was very, very excited about this. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this little Target haul and get excited for my haul next week because I'm going to have 
so many cute like back to school clothes I'm so pumped for that good night Lashka good night